Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing mixed on Thursday. Shares in energy, automobiles and components and software and services, those sectors feeling pressure, while shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, household and personal products and healthcare equipment and services sectors, they were on the rise. On the economic docket, initial jobless claims remaining unchanged week over week, 230,000 in the week ended April 27th, continuing claims increasing to 1.671 million in the week ended April 20th. Also, factory orders improving by 1.9% in March, while durable goods orders advancing by 2.6% in the same time. This has 44% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Sinclair Broadcast Group about to buy Fox Regional Sports Networks from Walt Disney in a deal valued at more than $10 million, reporting the Wall Street Journal, citing unnamed sources. Amazon.com is in the headlines after Berkshire Hathaway chairman and CEO Warren Buffett revealed in an interview with CNBC that his company has just bought shares in Amazon. Moving on, CBS reporting first quarter adjusted EPS of $1.37. As the company pointed out, entertainment operating income of $530 million for the first quarter of 2009 increased 9%, while cable networks operating income of $175 million for the first quarter of 2019 decreasing 26 percent. Turning overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei still closed for a national holiday. The Hang Seng up just about a half a percent. China CSI 300 closed as well. South Korea's coast speed down about three quarters of a percent. European markets gaining ground and U.S. futures calling for a slightly positive start. Now in terms of expectations today, we have American Tower and Dish Network. While on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have March goods advanced trade balance. We also have wholesale inventories, non-farm payrolls, the U.S. unemployment rate, and average hourly earnings. 9.45 sees market composite PMI and services PMI, and 10 o'clock sees April ISM non-manufacturing prices. Turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees its key resistance 2932.25, while the Nasdaq sees 7682.50 in sight and is in focus. As long as 7787 is the resistance, expect a return to 7711. Short positions below 7787 are favored with targets at 7711 and 7682.50 in extension, while the Dow Jones sees 26145 in sight.